this is a 1996 pneumatic Henry HVR 200 and bless him he's a little bit worse for wear look at the state of him I mean it's just powder really bless him it doesn't work apparently he just stopped working one day dead as a dodo these are a bit different to troubleshoot than the usual auto save ones that I feature on my channel so I thought we'd tear them down quickly and see if it's obvious so what the cause of death is? Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how? are you today it's typical dead henry no don't fall over yet but obviously these older ones do go wrong in different ways to the newer ones because you know they're simpler they don't have a pcb that burns out after two three years and just nicely stops the motor when these go wrong it's usually for a reason. Now I have checked the fuse, in fact that's why the cable is a damn sight cleaner than the whole machine, because I pulled it out and it was filthy. So we do get to go straight away inside, and you know what, that's not too bad. But this machine is used as an extractor on, and I know the irony is going to be lost on many of you, especially the horrible, hateful Americans whose messages I wake up to at six o'clock in the morning, you know, on my phone. It's used to make dental moulds. The guy makes dental moulds. So most of this is probably external that's gone onto it, because inside isn't too bad, really. I'm actually quite impressed by how clean it is. Under there, that's nothing you wouldn't see from, you know, 20, 30 years of use in a home. So let's undo the four screws. I'm not fully going for a refurb and clean up on this, I'll be honest. We might wipe him down if we can get him working, but again, I'm not charging too much for this job. I thought it would just make more of a fun video than, you know, out and out profit. So we'll lift oh, the hood on, which was caked on. It seems there's been a little bit of wet in there somewhere and we'll lift out the cord reel and look first of all at the contacts which can break but they are okay can't try to not put anything on this rug because the rug will get filthy next well let's just uh, empty it all out and take the plastic wheels out before they fall off and become annoying and I'll push the screws out so I can put all those in one place and keep them nice and together already my hands are black and filthy there is a suppressor in there which I'm probably going to try and get a look at I don't think these have a big habit of blowing. This one certainly hasn't. That's for sure. That one is okay. We might probe it later. But one of the big things that I do want to probe is the switch. Just to see if it's the cause of all of our problems. So I shall undo the multimeter. Bought a new multimeter. But I rather stupidly bought it from China. And we're not getting posts from China at the minute with the coronavirus. Right, the switch is on. And it's not the switch. The switch is working absolutely fine. 
and I must say I'm not getting anything from that suppressor but obviously I wouldn't be because it needs the plugged in turbo nozzle which obviously I don't have to make that work so the next place that we should have had actually before we do that we are being a little bit ahead of ourselves before I go and hoik the motor out best check the cable now we've got it out one on one pin and then I can't remember which is which but that one works and that works so yes it's also not the cable so mm, we are looking further down into here to see what is wrong with this very filthy Henry and all three screws undone we can lift up the top to reveal the UDS motor that these have and I'm going to pull the contacts off there we go let's just check I don't think these blow they're sort of self resetting magnetic switches almost so I'll put that out take that out and we shall extract the motor which spins it is a motor from October 1995 and there's no bone bits on the com at all that all seems relatively fine let's have a carbon brush out aha uh -huh. there folks is probably our issue look the carbon brush that's bouncy that is the inner part of the carbon brush right there not looking too happy indeed it hasn't damaged the com see that one's almost the same hasn't damaged it but i think it's just because the guy saw it die um yeah that's still quite carbony normally that would yes i can see the what i can see something it bounces in and out it's very strange but nonetheless this is blown carbons indeed so we have a chat to the owner see if he fancies sticking a set of carbons on to see if we can get it working two days after i finished filming the first bit where we discovered that yes the carbon brush is oddly broken the postman came for three pounds 99 from eBay, we have ourselves two new carbon brushes. And we need to fit them. So what we need to do is cut off the old ones, like so. I shall replace both as a pair because it is best practice. And then the new ones slide in. And then once they've slid in, very fiddly in fact i think i've also got to snap off this part here because the hot the new ones there we go clip on look they got a a flared out part and it's a bit fiddly mainly just because the spring wants to push back constantly but eventually your new brushes will just clip on and sit like that that's all they need to do with the carbon brushes in place we can start to reassemble the little fella once more starting with putting the motor into the bottom part then we need to take our wiring and the end with this I think it's a thermal cutout switch it's certainly a magnetic switch of some description the two terminals go on to the motor on their respective sides and then it's a little bit of a fiddle 
to line up these parts. They, they just go straight, actually, I think. It's probably not as much of a fiddle as I've just said it is. God, there's carbon dust galore belching off of this thing, but poor Henry isn't in for a full refurb, so there's not a great deal that I can do about that. Come on. Come on, Henry. It's time to go back together. Tell you what, you know how he comes apart. All Henry's are the same. I'm going to stop filming. I've got to wash my hands. This is not a clean job. And I'll get it back together and I shall join you back on the floor. But we'll see if it works. Back to familiarity on, as one viewer described it recently, the most disgusting rug he'd ever seen. And I'm inclined to agree. This comes up now if I'm not filming. I just use this as my filming carpet. Henry! He's looking a lot cleaner. I couldn't leave him like he was. I mean, I haven't gone to town, as you can see, but I've just given him a bit of a wipe because, bless him, you don't see a 1996 Henry very often nowadays. Haven't been powder applied. It is a beautiful sounding motor. Oodles of suction. And I imagine that he is cursing me because now he gets to go back to his owner, be hooked up to some machinery and extract dust for another 20 odd years. No, wait, 1996, nearly 25 years. Bless him. So, there we go. Carbon brush replacement. This generation with the red lettering is a lot easier. In fact, to prove my point, this 2001 Henry that is sat over to the side is scrap. Because it's carbon brush is needed for placing, but it has the horrible UDS motor and you can't get them. And the only other alternative was a new motor. So I have plans for that one. But on these older ones, it's just the thing to do. So, there we go really, this little short sharp video. Hope you enjoyed it, any pneumatic fans, we saved another one. Hooray! Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.